Welcome to This Week in Orthodoxy, the world's only online video newscast focused on events in the life of the Orthodox Church. I'm Emmy Luveris. In news from around the globe, reports of vandalism outside the old Byzantine walls of Constantinople is our top story this week. A band of young vandals invaded the courtyard and chapel of Hagia Paraskivi, also the site of a sacred spring known as Ayasma. Occurring during celebrations of the Turkish Springtime Festival of Nevruz, the looters desecrated the sanctuary, scattered priest vestments and sacred vessels to the floor, broke historical religious items causing significant damage, and finally taking a bell on their way out. They also invaded the home of the church's custodian and his family living on the premises. Located only 40 meters away, they fled to the local police station. Police, however, declined to intervene, stating they didn't want to provoke the crowd of young looters any further. His All Holiness Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew expressed sorrow and indignation for the vandalism at the Sacred Spring. And next up, the IOCC is transforming lives through clean and safe water that can make the difference between sickness and health, abject poverty and self-sufficiency. More than one billion people living in impoverished urban and rural areas struggle to survive each day without access to safe drinking water. With efforts in multiple countries, International Orthodox Christian Charities is working to help resolve issues with accessibility to safe water. In rural northwestern Cameroon, IOCC is installing systems that harvest rainwater at three of the area's largest schools, making safe water available to 9,000 students and teachers. And in Syria, with tens of thousands of displaced, war-torn families impacting local hosting villages, the IOCC, together with the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate, are drilling wells in an effort to address the critical water shortage and increase the greatly needed safe water supply. For more information, log on to IOCC.org. Our next story highlights the continuing plight of religious minorities in war-torn Syria. Bishop Elias Tume from Wadi al-Nazara near the embattled Syrian city of Homs spoke at Hellenic College and Holy Cross School of Theology in Brookline, Massachusetts on March 28th. Bishop Tume explained the historical, political and religious aspects of the current crisis shared stories of how the war is affecting people on the ground and emphasized the church's role as a peacemaker among peoples of many religions. He also discussed and shared his own personal experience these past few years and how he learned that being a bishop is not about thrones and dinners, but about being willing to sacrifice your life for your flock. A recording of the entire lecture will soon be available on hchc.edu. And next, Metropolitan Philip is buried at Antiochian Village. Surrounded by bishops and clergy chanting and reading a mixture of Arab, Greek and English texts, hymns and prayers, Metropolitan Philip Saliba, primate of the Antiochian Orthodox Christian Archdiocese of North America, was laid to rest on Monday, March 31st. This following five days of memorial services held at St. Nicholas Cathedral in Brooklyn, New York, attended by hierarchs, ambassadors, and dignitaries from around the world, as well as many lay people. He was described by those closest to him as a beacon of light, strength, promise, commitment, hope, and most importantly, as an example of what the shepherd can do when he is motivated and filled with the love for his children and Christ. Metropolitan Philip touched the lives of many and will forever be remembered in the hearts of thousands. May his memory be eternal. And in news from OCN, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for expressing your appreciation for our media ministry. With your support, we're able to bring news, images, video footage, and special coverage of the life of the Orthodox Church throughout the world. There's nothing else like it on the web today. This Week in Orthodoxy and all of OCN's programming are 100% listener supported. Please consider making a donation this Lenten season. Gifts from people like you are what make it possible 
To help support OCN with a donation, you can call and speak to one of our ministry volunteers at 954-522-5567 or simply visit myocn.net. That's it for another edition of This Week in Orthodoxy. Until next time, let's go forth in peace. For everyone here at the OCN Studios, I'm Emily Veras. <laughs>